Fergus, would you mind looking after the children for a little while? I need to speak with Marsley. Of course. Thank you. There's something I want to show you. But Marsley, do you trust me? Hi. Should let me explain. Lord have mercy on us! Shouting! Marsley, please. Deliver us from evil. <sighs> Don't make me say it, Claire. Don't make me say it. Was she right, Mama? Was she? I'm not a witch. And Marsley, you have more sense than that. That is why I brought you here. Now, knowing me as you do for as long as you have. Why do you think Mr. Farish is on this table? Who did we bury? No one. Roger and I filled the coffin with rocks. Should a physician not be more concerned with the living? The curse of the living is that they can't tell you the secrets of the dead. And what secrets might those be? Well, how to save those who are still here with us. How to perform life-saving surgeries. You know, we physicians, we, we learn by practicing on the dead. And I think you would be a good apprentice. Now, I've seen you butchering. You know how to use a knife. You understand the parts of an animal and what they're for. People are similar in many ways. See for yourself. God help us. Well, I believe he does. It's a miraculous thing, the human body. And I want to use this body to teach you so that we can protect God's miracle. Marsley, you are kind and caring and you have the right instincts. And I need help. But you... I could never defile a body. I didn't defile him. I did what's called an autopsy to, to learn why he died. So you can find out what killed a man, but... Cutting them open? Yes. Now, I couldn't save Mr. Farish, but this way his death will mean something. Help save others. And after I finish teaching you, we'll stitch him up and give him a proper burial, I promise. Roger even said he would help. Stitch him up? Like a seamstress? <laughs> 